Hey, your bros and mofos, what the hell's going down? Uh, back here on Conan Exiles, and I will be showing you guys pretty soon how to uh, unlock and craft this reptilian armor from the first boss. But uh, today I want to show you guys how to get brick and uh, hardened brick. So I've got a ton of brick here, and not so much hardened brick, but uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do both of those. So uh, firstly, you need to make sure you have your furnace uh, unlocked. Obviously, I mean, it's pretty good to have a furnace, I think. But uh, anyway, so to get brick, all you have to do is throw your stone into the furnace and make sure you have some fuel. And uh, for every, what is it, 10 stone, you get one brick. So you can see down in my crafting queue uh, down at the bottom that I am cr uh, it's smelting the stone into brick right now. So uh, once it turns that into brick, uh, we want to know how to get hardened brick right brick gets us pretty far but then uh, we need to start using hardened brick for quite a few upgrades and stuff like that so uh, for hardened brick I'm gonna go to the next furnace that I have set up it already has some brick in it and it also has some stone consolidant uh, now if we turn this furnace on it starts crafting uh, the hardened brick for every one brick and one stone consolidant you get one hardened brick so uh, the brick is easier to come by than the stone consolidant. And now I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, the stone consolidant. So uh, you want to make sure you have some sort of cauldron, whether it's upgraded or not. I have the fireball uh, cauldron. And if you throw in some twine and some ichor, you can scroll down to the stone consolidant. And you can see for every two ichor and two twine, uh, you get five stone consolidant. So, I've already thrown some twine and some ichor in there. Hopefully you guys know how to uh, get uh, twine by now. And if you don't know how to get the ichor, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to do that next. And uh, so anyway, we have the ichor and the twine in here. And I've selected to craft as much stone consolidant as I can. And now I'm going to turn it on. And you can see it's crafting down to the bottom. It's going to craft us some stone consolidant. So uh, we take the brick and the stone consolidant, fire it up in the furnace, and you can see it's already making hardened brick. So the ichor for the stone consolidant, if you guys don't know uh, how to get that, I think the best way to do it is by fishing. So I've gotten some uh, cage. Uh, I've got a few. I've got, what is this? Uh, cage for like shellfish. And then I've got a fishing cage. Uh, so you want to grab the unappetizing, uh, what is it, the unappetizing shellfish and the unappetizing fish, which would be the little bitty shrimp, and for the fish it would be the uh, little piranha looking thing. So uh, yeah, fishing is definitely the fastest and easiest way for Icker. Uh, now along with this armor uh, that I'm going to be showing you guys how to craft, you also get something else from that same boss fight, which is called Abysmal Flesh. And if you put that Abysmal Flesh into your cooking uh, campfire, you can actually get ichor from that as well. So I have some Abysmal Flesh, some unappetizing shellfish, and some unappetizing fish in my campfire. So if we fire it up, you can see it is uh, cooking it. And for each of these that it cooks, it also gives me one ichor. So, uh, yeah, I think this is the fastest way. Now, you can also get ichor from a few other things we're going to run through real quick. If you put them on the fluid press, you will get one ichor for every 20 serpent venom glands, one ichor for every 20 sand reaper toxin gland, one ichor for every 50 putrid meat. So if for some reason you're uh, saving your putrid meat, all of the spoiled meat and stuff like that, then for every 50 of those, you can get one ichor. So uh, you can also get one ichor from every 20 volatile glands and one ichor from every 10 uh, abysmal flesh, which I'm showing you guys right here. So uh, once we have the ichor, just go and throw it into your, uh, what you might call it, your furnace, or no, 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 your cauldron and make the stone consolidant. So that way I've showed you guys how to make the brick, which is making right now, it's smelting down to brick. Uh, over here in the first furnace and in the second furnace I showed you guys how to 
combine the brick with the stone consolidant to make hardened brick and uh, so hopefully before too long you guys have uh, all of the brick and hardened brick your heart can desire now keep an eye out like I said for how to unlock this reptilian armor I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to craft uh, these sweet little torches right here with the little blue glow stuff and I'm gonna be showing you guys also how to make uh, steel and hardened steel and I've already showed you guys how to uh, make iron so anyway dudes keep an eye out for my uh, how-to videos on my channel here on Conan Exiles and I will catch you guys on the flip-flop